Hey, what's up, you guys? So today I'm bringing you one of my personal favorite songs, The Scientist by Coldplay. It's probably my favorite song by Coldplay. If it's, if it's not my favorite, it's definitely in like the top five of their songs. They have a lot of great songs. Um, so let's go ahead, zoom in, and break this one down. All right, so it's honestly a lot simpler than you would think. Um, the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to tune our guitar. All right, so we're tuning into a different tuning. It's not in standard tuning. And the tuning is the same, you know, it's the normal E, A, D, G for the 6th, 5th, 4th, and 3rd string. But the high B and E, those are tuned to, the B string is tuned to a C. So that goes up to a C, which is only a half step. And then the E string is tuned to an F which is also only a half step. Okay, so tune these to a C and an F, and then you'll be ready to go, all right? Now, for the first chord is a D minor, all right? So that's going to be 12th fret, ring finger, A string, and then pinky, 12th fret, D string, and pointer finger, G string, 10th fret, okay? And you're gonna mute this thickest E string unless you can get this thumb to wrap around and grab that, but my hands aren't big enough to do that, so I cannot do that, but that is a D note, so if you can get that in there, I'd recommend that you do do that. Uh, it's gonna give you that nice bass note you need to differentiate the chord, okay? And then you're going to leave the B and E ringing open. And you're gonna do that for all these chords. You're just gonna leave them all ringing open. So normally, like, this shape is based off of this bar chord minor shape. You know, imagine an E minor. We're just moving that down to the 12th fret with our ring and pinky and then pointer finger here, but because of the chord, we're just going to pick this note out of it and with the tuning, leaving those open. That's why we're not gonna bar those. All right, so you have a D minor for the verse, and then you're gonna move down to this B flat major chord, continuing to leave those rung open, and that is either with your pointer finger 6th fret, thickest E string, ring finger, 8th fret, A string, pinky, 8th fret, D string, and then middle finger, 7th fret, G string. Now he tends, to Chris Martin, the guitarist and lead singer for Coldplay, he uses his thumb. And for this chord, I can wrap my thumb around. And that's how I normally play. I usually wrap my thumb around. Um, that's how he plays it. All right, so it's a B flat major. And then we move to this F, which traditionally would look like that, but we're just going to either put our first finger or pointer finger on the first fret of the thickest E string or wrap your thumb around. It's the same shape as here. We're just moving it down to the first fret. All right. So that would sound like this. Come up to meet you, tell you I'm sorry. You don't know how lovely you are. And then back to here, and we repeat that for the verse. All right, now he holds one measure here. measure here, then two on the F. All right, and that strumming pattern is kind of doing like a down, 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 up, down, 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 up. And he's really accenting that third down.
and then he pretty much keeps that same strumming pattern. Now, when he goes into the chorus, he'll switch it up a little bit. Um, and I, he doesn't really do it the same every time, which is kind of what keeps him in rhythm. All right. So that's for the verse. And then for the chorus, it's going to go from the same chord we learned, this F, to this B flat, maybe, which we've already learned as well. Back to the F. All right, so he's just going to transition in between this B flat major and F, and then he'll go to this C, which is the same shape that we've already learned. We're just moving that down to the eighth fret with either, like I said, you can play it however you want. Just fretting thickest D string on the eighth fret. All right. So I'll play through that for you real quick. Nobody said it was easy. Oh, it's a shame for us to Nobody said it was easy. Nobody said it would be the all right so do you play for the course and kind of into that interlude after he goes from the c oh take me back to the start he'll go to an f well, it's just the instrumental And then back into the verse. All right. And some little variations you can throw on these chords. Uh, what he'll do is when he's playing this F chord, he'll take his middle finger off and make that like a suspended. And he usually does that on that second measure of the F, getting ready to go transition back to this D minor. Okay. So I'll show you like. And some other little variations he throws on there that you could do. Normally there's a second guitarist playing, so, um, but you can kind of do it yourself. So when you're on this C, you'll hear this little melody, which would be the ninth fret G string, slide to the 10th G string, and then to the 12th. When he's coming out of this, getting ready to go into that instrumental and then back into the verse. You can play this. And then. Back to that C. And you'll also hear, uh, you know, in the background towards, it's not, I don't think it's throughout the whole song. It might be, uh, but you'll hear this A. doing like a little slight bend on that A, which that would be right here, would be the 12th fret A string. But what you can do is when you're playing this F, you can take your middle finger, bend that note there, that's an A, which is the second fret G string. That's an A, so you can kind of get that same feel without having to like, have a second guitarist, so I'll show you what I mean. All right, and all I'm doing is kind of slightly bending that middle finger. You can bend the other strings with it too if that makes it easier for you, but you really want to focus on bending that. Okay? And then when he's going from into the uh, he 
goes from this. So you're kind of like like the verse. So he plays the same chords for the uh, that awu as well. All right, so that's it. That's all you need for the entire song. It's honestly just only a handful of chords. Uh, you're playing them all open, so you don't really have to worry about barring anything or anything like that. And that's how Chris Martin plays it. You know, I've watched quite a few videos of him playing live, and he tends to play it this way. Now I've seen it to where you can play it with the capo, and there are some other videos uh, that break down that. Or if you guys would like me to break that down for you as well. Leave a comment down below. I can do it with the capo and without having to do these, you know, these bigger chords. All right. So I appreciate you guys. Next thing I need you to do is go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that bell notification, so you can be reminded as soon as I release more content like this. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions or there's any other songs you would like me to cover. I really appreciate you guys. See you guys in the next one.